Let's break down the issues now with someone very familiar with the politics of the armed services, former Defense Secretary Bill Cohen, who also served for 18 years in the U.S. Senate. Uh, good morning to you, sir. Uh, morning. Secretary Gates wants to lop spending on the defense front, um, specifically close a military command in Norfolk, Virginia, uh, lop spending on contractors, contractors by a quarter over three years' time. Is this trimming fat? Is this trimming into bone? Uh, well, Secretary Gates uh, has a reputation for trying to get as much efficiency into uh, his uh, agency as possible. I worked very closely with him when he was the director of the CIA, uh, and I know from his uh, service now as Secretary of Defense that he's concerned about the extraordinary growth uh, in the size of government. Uh, the Defense Department uh, budget has doubled since I was there. He has been sending signals saying that this is not sustainable. We're now looking at, coupled with the base budget plus uh, the uh, supplemental we're approaching uh, three quarters of a trillion dollars on an annual basis and that's something that cannot be sustained over the long term so I think what he's trying to do is to bring some management uh, control and uh, to look at ways in which we can save money on administrative functions and to put those savings into what they call the tip of the spear the fighting men and women uh, who are out there putting their lives on the line so I think he needs to be uh, given a good deal of credit for trying to undertake this task it's going to be tough because he has to deal with Capitol Hill and Capitol Hill is going right. to want to shape their own cuts. Right, and, and job cuts in this environment are a, a tough thing to carry out, even if, as the Secretary uh, emphasizes, a number of these positions are contractors. They're not necessarily men in the field. Um, do you think that he can sell this politically? Well, you know what's taking place uh, throughout the country? We're seeing uh, teachers laid off. We're seeing uh, firemen uh, cut back. We're right. seeing street lights turned out. Uh, policemen being reduced in number. So uh, the uh, economic situation is pretty uh, tough right now. So it's one thing to say that the Defense Department should never be touched uh, under these circumstances, but I think what Secretary Gates is saying is that we need to look at ways we can save without compromising our security. Mm -hmm. uh, if that means some uh, jobs are going to be hit, then uh, it'll have to be the case. But um, you can't say that the Defense Department is totally immune from what is taking place economically in this country. Right, and, and the Secretary says he's, he's making these cuts to justify an increase in a 1% increase in the budget for the for the year to come. This isn't the first time that Secretary Gates has asked for a, a fair amount of austerity. He's also pushing Congress to uh, drop orders for um, some Boeings and GE engines for their joint strike uh, fighter jet there. Do you believe on that front that that this will get through that those orders will be abandoned? Uh, well, that's going to be a, a difficult decision. I um, don't want to get into the specifics of uh, the programs, uh, but I think that any t what Secretary H is trying to do is he's yeah. trying to shape the nature of the cuts that are going to be coming uh, so that uh, he's at least taking the lead effort. Uh, Congress may decide that they want something else. They want to cut in other areas. They may want to even increase. And so what I think he's trying to do is to shape the debate and get out in front as best he can. But ultimately, Congress is going to make the decisions. Uh, Congress ends up deciding the executive proposes, yeah. but uh, Congress disposes. Let me ask you uh, about this story uh, in Pakistan. Uh, tremendous floods devastating that country, some 14 million people being displaced. Pakistan, besides this humanitarian issue, is viewed as a, a front in the war on terror. Should the U.S. military be more actively engaged on the ground there? Well, I think we have to be very careful in terms of uh, being engaged on the ground. To the extent that the Pakistani government invites us to participate in the counter-terrorism efforts or attacking uh, Taliban and Al-Qaeda, that is one thing. But I think it, uh, we have to go very, very cautiously here in terms of whether we should become more involved on the, in a physical way mm -hmm. on the Pakistani side of the border because you'll have a reaction from the Pakistani people saying the United States, having been in Iraq, Afghanistan, yeah. now coming into Pakistan, that could be very, very counterproductive. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for your perspective, Mr. Secretary, this morning.